Muulizeni mali popote shule yake imekuwa ever registered watoto wafanye national exam muniambie Huyu mwanamke hana aibu This woman wants to put CG solar power then again anataka kuweka stima like what the hell you guys can't you see that this woman is just nini anaweka rental samuoni Hello guys, it's your girl Patient Status. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time here, make sure you hit the subscription box and put on the notification bell so that you're not for any time I post a new video. Remember, I'm the queen of online gossip. So welcome to today's video. Don't forget to give it a like and leave a comment on the comment section. Hi, we are going to the next thing. Mm-hmm. Sasa. Jacqueline Ombewa. <laughs> Nimesikia tetesi ya kwamba ati umeamua kutusi watu na kuambia watu ya kwamba ati wewe you are not being helped ati ngojeni kwanza ninakuja I'm coming Acha tumwekee wimbo kwanza Acha tuwekee Jacqueline wimbo tutamwekea wimbo kwanza eh, wapi hiyo nini tuna dedicate Jacqueline wimbo first before tuendele wimbo yake aya 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 kumekucha first of all I have never in my whole life seen a woman so shameless. Yaani maisha yangu yote mpaka nimefika 42 years old, I have never ever seen a woman that is as shameless as Jacqueline Ombeo. This woman came on this platform and created a narrative about her saving and helping children that are autistic. She came here, sold a lie and raised money after raising money and stealing more than 6 million shillings on this platform she did not build any school she did not build no school at all there is no school on the ground that Jacqueline built and then this woman still has the audacity the courage the oomph to come on this platform to actually degrade and to kutusi wale watu ambao walikuwa wamempatia pesa like who does that let me tell you something about Jacqueline Ombewa because i really and i have I've been avoiding talking about this woman because the only thing that she knows how to do is to insult people yeye hakuna hata sasa hii nikimaliza hii live atafungua live na matusi because that is all that she does One thing you people need to understand is that Jacqueline Ombewa stole from you and she stole over 6 million. And Jacqueline Ombewa works with cronies under the guise of a community based organization. Ile kitu tumebaki nayo sasa hii ni ku register the community based organization. It is usually a process. And she knows it's going to happen. Not that she doesn't know. So she will come here and tell you that oh oh oh. So mumekuwa mkisema ni vitisho baridi na nini na nini. I have told you guys here. The wheels of justice they roll in ways that are not in TikTokers hands. In a roll in a slow way but it will obviously catch up. There is no school that Jackly Lombewa ever had. Unaona saa hii hapo mbewa where I come from. Jacqueline Ombewa is operating a day school. But Jacqueline Ombewa is coming to you guys and telling you that she needs power, solar power in a day school. For what? A day primary school. Anahitaji solar power for what? Hebu mniambie shule zinafungwanga kama ni late ni saa 12. Jioni. Hiyo ni maybe class 7 na 8. Ukiuliza Jacqueline saa hii kama amewahi ku enroll how students wake kufanya KCPE ama whatever thing that you guys do nowadays muulizeni mali popote shule yake imekuwa ever registered watoto wafanye national exam muniambie 
Uyu mwanamuke, ana ibu. This woman wants to put CG solar power, then again, anataka kueka steamer, like what the hell, you guys, can't you see that this woman is just, nini, anaweka rental, samuoni? You guys, macho zenu zimefungi kama nini? No, shell me, I'm never happy because your, your father left me. Babako aliniwacha shell me, tapadali. Ambia babako arudi aripende, kwa sababu mimi siko happy, shell me. Babako aliniacha, please talk to your dad, tell him to come back to me, I miss him. Taka taka hii. Beba patipati, charaza, moderator, chapa hiyo shell me na nini kwa kisogo yake. This woman, anakuja hapa kuambia, ati... She suddenly now wants uh, electricity. Anataka solar power. Kwa shule yenye iko day school. Watoto wanatokanga shule mchana by at least 5 o'clock. Na ati anaitaji 600,000. Uh, did she bring for you a quotation from KPLC? Aliwaletea. Na by the way, before aweke steamer kwa hiyo shule, unajua the education ministry pia lazima you approve. Alipata hiyo barua, akawalete hapa. Na mukae mukijua, hana shule yote nye ko registered. There is no school that she has that is registered. So sijui, ni nini muna penda kumpliza ama ni nini. Muna penda kueka pesa kwa mkono ya muizi ama ni nini. Shida ikuapi. Yani sielewi, huyu mwanamke, ameshinda kituambia vile she's very educated. Ako na ma degrees, na ako na masters. You mean this woman with masters degrees ake zote and she's in the United Kingdom where she has access. To all the white donors that she might want to. Na hiyo mdomo yake na education. So this woman cannot get money in the UK. At 1,000 pounds ya kufund her work. Or 1,000 pounds for a ticket to go to Kenya. Are you, do you think this person is living a good life or she's okay? So you mean this woman does not have the capability of even fundraising within her own community in the United Kingdom because she says that she's very eloquent and she's a teacher and she has been in a place where she has taught many people and amekuwa mwalimu for several years. So you mean that this woman does not have a community in the United States, in the United Kingdom to raise money. Wacheni ni wambie, hata mimi sahi Diana hapa sahi. I have a community in the United States. If anything was to happen to me now, and I really needed help, the first people I will reach out to are my neighbors, the local church, and talk to them about my, my project. And that's what we did the other time. That is why you saw a lot of people in the United States sent sanitary towels to us from all over the United States because that was our community. So this woman has zero community in the United Kingdom. Nobody to even give her 500 Pounds, tuachani yata na 1,000, ya ticket. Huyu mwanamuke ametoka UK, anakuja kwa live, anaomba bundles kwa live. You guys, you think it's normal? We are dealing with a kleptomaniac. We are dealing with a kleptomaniac. How can you be educated and you refuse to work? Sisi wenye hata tumefika class 6, tunaenda kazini. Jacqueline does not go to work. She sits back and waits for people to send her money. That's not normal. And then she talks about a community-based organization that she is the only person running. She is the only person raising money for the community-based organization. Yeye and your treasurer, yeye and your chairperson, yeye and your mwalimu, yeye and your builder, yeye and anaenda kwa hardware, yeye and ananunua kitu kila kitu like how is that possible? If it's a community-based organization, where is the community? Where is the community? What is the role of the community? What role is the community play, playing? Because I'm, I'm, I find this very absurd. How is it that people are just okay with her behavior? This one person is the one that has access to the account for the CBO. This is one person is the person that withdraws money and again, the thing that I found very scary is that Jacqueline Obewa actually has a receipt that is stamped already. Yani ata si quotation note ni receipt 
yenye iko stamped anakuja kuwaonyesha kwa live yeye hizi marisiti anapata aje ni hardware gani inaweza kukupatia stamped receipt na ujanunua vitu you guys kata kama ni ujinga eh how, how stupid can we be now she has found a clever way of trying to brainwash people here anakuja kuambia ya kwamba ati anawaonesha shule na vitu zenye amefanya while the school in chiga that she raised money for here unajua aliwacha aliwacha kuwapatia update mumemuona jacqueline akienda chiga have you seen her go to chiga mbona hajawahi enda chiga kwa sababu hii shule ya ndiwa haina uhusiano na sisi we don't care about the ndiwa school it has nothing to do with us it has nothing to do with the money that you raised here why do we keep on having they were splashed in our faces all the time like how relevant is it to us that you show us they were the school that you raised money for is chiga akatuonesha mpaka vile watoto saisi wangekuwa wanasoma wanapanda mpaka lift guy jamani hata kama ni kukua mwizi this woman i don't know what she used against you people enyewe sijui for her to actually come to this platform akuja awauzie such a story mpaka mkamuamini eti alikuwa mpaka na mashule mtu mwenye hakukua hata na hakukua hata na shule hakukua hata na shule hmm? hata shule hakukua nayo registered in a name so now she comes here yani she's uh, yani absolutely yani fucking ridiculously entitled anakuja kutaja majina ya watu eti anasema it's juki na sialo kina nani eti wame wame ignore like who the fuck do you think needs to pay attention to you why should anyone pay attention to you for what you stole money here why should anyone pay attention to you na nikachekelea kitu kingine pia niliona ati ako na ipads kwa shule ya ndiwa ya ushago dala pale kwa penye hata network ni shida ati yako na amepeleka ipads you guys for what how is that even making sense unapeleka ipads kwa shule ya village yenye haina stima na kwanza hata wakiweka stima hata wenye wako na stima nyumbani wateni niwaambie stima ya nyumbani huwa haiko consistent inaendanga Yani, how is it normal for this woman to think that people deserve to help her? Anaenda anaokota iPods huko kwa huko UK kwa sababu hata hapa US kuna watu wana donating vitu hapa. Nikitaka kupatiana iPads kwa mashule si si watu wanapatiana anga hapa wengi. Watu wengi wanapatiana anga vitu hapa. Tu za bure. Na nikitaka naweza kuziokota niende nikapatiane kwa mashule huko. Hm? Hata kama wanaweka solar system, unawekea nini solar system? That is not a boarding school. That's not a boarding school. Jacqueline does not have a boarding school. She does not need to have power in that school. That's a day school. That shule zina end by 4, 5 o'clock. What does she need that money for? It's so sick. Yani hauwezi kuchoka na uwizi. Na mimi nitasema, a lot of people when you wanapatia huyu mwanamke pesa, niko sure they don't know the difference between the school in Dewa na shule yenye kochiga. Kuna watu wanafikiria sasa amekuja kutengeneza hii shule ya ya, ya tiziko pamoja. Guys, there is nothing like that. Hizo pesa zenye mnampatia saa hii wacheni niwaambie the next scandal inakuja hapa itakuwa juu ya boyfriend ama girlfriend mwenye alipatana na yeye because she spends her money on sex on intimate partners. That's what she does. Hiyo ndio pesa bila U, e machichi alifa, alifaidika sana sahi kuna mwingine and definitely atakuwa anafaidika that is what happens so she's holidaying with your money she's getting to enjoy herself out of the village to go and enjoy herself out there na kukunywa pombe anawakujia live na ameva goggles anakunywa pombe and then she comes to na asoro I warned you against Jacqueline asoro na warning Ukikutana na Jacqueline wewe asoro shauri yako. Nimekuambia. 
Usikuja hapa kutulilia. Because she doesn't care. And can you see the way she's preying on younger women? Eh? Sasa, mnini watu wa TikTok mtakuwa munapatia mtu pesa aende ya kakai nao na girlfriends na boyfriends, surely. Is that really been making sense? Jacqueline is a big thief. Yani ni mwizi. Mwenye hana ibu atakidogo. Na nimesema hapa, those people that she's trying to to mention their names, anajaribu kwa blackmail, ndio hao watu warudi kwa inbox yake. Wamwambie, ati, oh, by the way, don't worry, uh, I, I will see what I can do for you. That is what she's doing. Ndiyo maana alikuwa nakuja boldly kutaja majina zao, because anafikiria kitaja majina kuna watu wenye wataogopa, waende kwa inbox, waanze kumuongelesha on the side. Wamwambie, ati, oh, unajua, uh, unajua hii kitu, wacha, let us just talk. No. She's been dealing with weak women. Kwenye hawezi wakakua na stand. Unataka ulishwe. Maisha yako na holidays yako zipati. Yani upewe pesa kukula na kukunywa Kenya. While people are working hard for their money. Jacqueline, enda kazini. Go to work like other women do. Go to work, my friend. Enda kazini. Na kama uwezi enda kazini, chukua hizo pesa zenye unapata za benefits, unapatiwa na UK, kuja usaidie na, usaidie na watoto, if you are very desperate for the help. And let me tell you guys, the truth is, you do not have to fund a project. Kama una pesa ya project, project unaweza ukafunga. Even in Kenya, there are so many organizations that have closed down their projects. Organizations like Plan International, World Vision, Care International, wamefunga, wamefunga, wamefunga projects. They have closed their projects na waka patia, waka, 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 waka cut off contracts for their employees. Because when there is no funding, that is the right thing to do. Kwa ninu umanamuki anataka kulazimisha watu na kumfund? You cannot force people with funding you. Like what is so unique about your project that it must be funded? Organizations have always been shut down and they have closed down when they do not have funds. And it's globally. At upper America kuna organizations that if they cannot get the money, they simply close. Ebu muni blokia yo takataka inajita luo queen. Block yo takataka before you comment anything. Moderators. Peleka takataka shakahola raka na murushi hizo patipati zake zenye zimedaruka. Chapa kisogo before I comment. Let me tell you guys. The way that Jacqueline is forcing people to give her money, it's because she's hungry. Hana pesa. She wants you people to fund her lifestyle. Anataka maisha yake ikue funded by you guys. Ati mumpatie pesa. Kila siku. Marienga, unakuja kukoment nini ya patoka hapa taka taka hii? Hmm? Marienga, by the way, usikuja hapa kunitusi na mama yako umeshindwa kumtoa huko. Mama yako ni mgonjwa. Ebu enda ukatoe mama yako mgonjwa huko. Your mom is very sick. Amelazwa kwa hapo chini hata hakuna mtu wa kumpanguza. For the past one week, mama yako amekosa mtu wa kumpanguza matako. Sisi ndio tulitoa pesa marienga. Mama yako aende akapanguzwe matako huko kwa village. Mavi imejaa huko nyuma. Please, it's not safe. It's not good for her skin. Na wewe uko hapa TikTok unakuja kukomment. Tafadhali, tafadhali marienga. Tafuta pesa utume nyumbani ili mama yako achungwe. It's not right for you to leave your mother like that. It's not okay. Hala? Usikuja hapa kukomenti na we mwenye umeshinda ata kutafuta mfanye kazi wa kulinda mamako. Taka taka hii. Ala. So anyway, I was saying that there is no way that you can force people to fund your project. If you don't have money for a project, close it down. Period. Funga project. Because wezi kutulazimisha kukupatia pesa. Ati, ati, ati ujenge na eshule. Ati mara u, u, u nini. Uh, ati ati nimesikia anasema ati anataka kuanzisha feeding program chekesha How are 
you gonna do a feeding program while you cannot even afford bundles to go live yourself? Nani anatoka UK anakuja kuomba bundles Kenya? You guys, you, you guys think this is normal? Mumewai kuona mtu mwenye ametoka UK, United Kingdom, a first world country, anakuja kuomba bundles kwa live. Hachi guys, munitumia bundles. And you are the person that is talking about empowering people and empowerment. You cannot empower people if you are not empowered. Jacqueline is not financially empowered, so she cannot empower anybody. When you do not have money, you cannot empower anybody financially. You cannot depend on people's money that you have not seen to run a project. It's not possible. It, it doesn't work that way. It requires you to have the money. You need to have money for you to talk about funding people. You need to have money to run projects. That is why people who have money sustain projects. Because you have to have the money. Otherwise, you are a poor person that also needs help. There is no way a person that is struggling with poverty can tell you that they want to elevate your po you from poverty. Maskini anaenda kwa maskini mwenzake kumwambie eti nataka kukusaidia na yeye ana that is Jacqueline Obewa for you she came and sold a cock and bull story about helping autistic kids while yeye mwenyewe amekosa pesa na chakula kujimudu yeye mwenyewe as an individual this is a woman the only woman in the United Kingdom I have seen being given money for a ticket to go to Kenya in the United Kingdom Alafu isitoshe, anakuja tena live kuomba bundles. And she's coming from a first world country. Guys, it's absurd. It's not normal, it's absurd. And she confidently comes with her entitlement and kleptomania. Ati, 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 you should not, you should not be, the people who refuse to support me, anaita baka MC Chris. Ati, 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 MC, ati, ame support MC Chris. Ume support MC Chris na nini? Na kukaa kwa platform. Ama ilikuwa ni nini? Everything that was done here, ata including baby Jason, most of the work that was done, was done by TikTokers. You only created a platform, yenye watu walikuwa na fundraise. And most of the people that gave money, were people who gave money because they wanted to. And they were resonating with the illness of that child. It wasn't your money, my dear. Mbona uongelele budoi? Simulikula pesa na budoi. Budoi sasa is gone. Now you keep talking about Jason. Jason was a project that was single-handedly funded by TikTokers. And most of it was done because people trusted Farmer's Girl. Kama Farmer's Girl ange kuwa kwa hiyo project, hakuna pesa yenye weo mwenye ungepatiwa. Because it, there is, I'm telling you the truth. Would you help? Thank you, Seke. Nobody. Akuna. Kama farmer girl was not in the picture for baby Jason, nobody would have given you money. I'm telling you, you would not have been in the forefront. Akuna. And you're very, very, very conniving. You know very well how to operate. Unakuja apa. Atibria bari yako, ati unakuja kuambia watu, ati haujakuwa supported. Who told you you should be supported? Nani alikuambia you deserve to be supported? Who deserves to support a thief? Why must a thief be supported? Why must you be supported and you stole 6 million from people? Nani amekuambia lazimu kuwa supported? Who told you that a thief deserves to be supported? Hmm? You have no shame. And the entitlement is sick. Nimekuambia hapa Jacqueline Ombewa. Kama hauna pesa ya kuran project, close the project down. Because you don't have, nobody is going to take you to jail for closing a project. You don't have to force yourself or force anybody to take care of a project. Projects are funded with money. And sustainability is key for any project. And you currently do not have any way or means of being sustainable. Wewe mwenyewe, the food you are eating is from TikTokers. Right now, the place you're staying is from TikTokers. You cannot sustain yourself. How are you going to sustain anybody else? 
ati unataka kuanzisha feeding program ya watoto uta, utafanya aje you cannot even feed yourself hauna pesa ya bundles na uko united kingdom you've lived in the uk for several years and you still cannot afford to have bundles money when you go to kenya neither can you even afford a ticket to go to kenya are you normal <laughs> like you think that people owe you anything nobody owes you nothing nobody owes you fucking nothing my friend na nimekuambia umekuwa ukibraga hapa ukisema uko na 200 acres of land my friend sell 100 acres out of your land and sustain your project take 100 acres out of your 200 acres and sustain your projects in Kenya wacha kusumbua watu hapa your projects are your passion. They are inside of you. They are things that you want to do and you love. So make that sacrifice. Sacrifice and sell 100 acres. You said you have legitimate land. Why are you afraid? Sell 100 acres out of your 200 acres and make sure you sustain your projects. That is how you are supposed to do. Because those are your dreams. Yes, Dorothy. Those are your dreams. Those are your aspirations. That is your passion. It's not ours. You can't force us to share your, your, your passion. You want us to share your passion by force. That is what you need. That is what you desire. None. You need to fund it. It's not our responsibility. Neither is it the responsibility of TikTokers. You have to make sure you go out of your way. And that is why unapata watu, wana, and ikanga proposals. Kivyao, organizations, write proposals, and they lobby, and they look for money from donors, because that is their aspiration. And once they get the money, they put it down to their projects. And if they don't get the money, they shut down the projects. That's how it works. Unajua? We uko hapa unataka kutuforce ati tukupatie pesa, Really? Alafu kesho kesho watu watu watakuwa na kuwa na panga manyumba hapo unapata pesa zako na watu wa TikTok ndo watakao wakumbavu. And let me tell you the reason why you feel entitled. It's because you have gotten away with lying to people here so much and now you're becoming bolder and bolder and bolder because hauna aibu umeibia watu na you've gotten away with it. Not really quite. But because you think that there is a group of people that cannot see through your shit, you want to continue doing that. My friend, umesema iti unaenda kupungua shuleta re kumitishirini na moja, chekesha. Tuko hapa. And another thing I want to tell you, the people of the one need to be made aware of the person that you are. They need to be told and shown what you have been doing. It's very important that we create awareness right now in the ground. Iyo ndo sasa what we need to do because there is, it looks like there's people who don't know what you've been doing. And the other school where you raised money, it's important for the people of Ndewa to be made aware before the 21st. We need to make sure that the people of Ndewa are going to be aware of everything that you've been doing on this platform and the schools that you have that are non-existent. They're all in your head. Yeah, we are going to be making posters and we're going to make sure that the people in Ndewa were made to me were placards. The whole of Kanyamua Nation needs to know and understand what you do and who you are. That awareness is so vital because that's the only way we can put you out there on the map. Na nime kuambia, uza 100 acres. Tafadhali, because unatusumbua hapa na kelele. Uza 100 acres. So that you can fund your stupid projects that don't exist. You're no longer going to be eating money from TikTokers. That is not going to happen. Umesikia? Mimi personally, ninaenda kupigia wood nani? The, uh, the MP. God for for nani for ndewa akue aware na hizo posters zitafika kwa ofisi yake nimekuambia kuanzia hii wiki before 21st tunataka ku make sure everybody in that village is gonna be made aware 
of everything that you're doing. Hiyo ni kitu moja nimekuwa sure. Umesikia? From the MCS kila kitu kazi irudi kwa ground because inakaa wewe umesahau kazi yenye tunaweza kufanya kwa ground. You need to be eh, you need to be reminded. Unasikia? Sababu utakuwa unatumia majina za watoto wa shule hivyo ati watoto ati kila saa ati unataka kukulia pesa hapa while you are the one who stands to benefit every day every freaking day like you don't get tired of your lies and your shit how choki uchoki na uongo wewe na kukula watu na uongo hmm? na mimi nilikwambia i don't care how much you open a life to respond na kunitusi because that's the most you can do na ukue careful ukinitusi na ukomdhiwa this time ukue careful because mimi mwenyewe ninaweza nikatuma watu wa kucharaze nimekuambia eh uchapwe because mimi ni mimi ni damu ya hiyo land uweze ukanitusi kwa live na utawachwa eh nimekuambia ukinitusi kwa live this time umeke sure unanitusi na utabaki Nairobi usiende ndewa nimekuambia sasa si eti ita threat i've told you plain and simple sisi kwa mila yetu hapo ndewa watoto wa ndewa damu ya ndewa adalilishwi It doesn't work that way. Yes. Nya unyo bro kalo kuomi, mwe chama pok ni dware ni wanga nyisi. Yao live ya nyaka ti chop dala. Biro rodi rot kisu motema. Biro chwadi, chwat ma pok no chwadi go. Anyisi. Yeah, and there's nothing you can do to me by the way. Hakuna kitu tafanya. Umesikia? So we na kungoja. I'm waiting for you. And you are not my request. Ai. Sasa watu wanatuma request na hata siwajui. <laughs> ha. Eh. Kama sikujui usinitumie request hapa. Hebu turudieni. Tunarudi kwa I was gonna talk about the the, the last thing. Ngoja. Official days unanitumia request kwa nini sikujui? So thank you so much for watching the video to the end. Remember to like, share, comment. And if you have not subscribed, please make sure you subscribe and put on the notification bell so that you never miss time I post a new video. So guys, thank you. I'm going to see you on my next video. Bye.